so in the previous lecture we have drawn this portal frame from this point to this point and by applying all the predicted frame section properties so here you can see that this frame is in elevation here and there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 frames which are at spacing of 7.667 meter from each other so we can replicate all the arrangement select all the beams and select all the joints go to edit replicate we can close this window here and we can click on radial and here you can see that the axis is minus y so we can select linear here increment data has to be along y axis only and dy has to be minus 6.667 this number is written here sorry 7.667 and number has to be 11 I am counting again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 notice that number 1 is already drawn so we need to enter number here as 10 and here you can see that it is showing the probable image of the replicated frame so now we have drawn a full fledged PEB portal frame shed here and we can left click on ok to close this option now there are various other things that a designer need to keep in his mind while modeling the PEB shed now we need to join all these beams also how we can how we need to join practically the all the portals are joined by purlins also as well as girds also as well as e strut raker angles etc but as a designer you don't need to model the purlins and girds in the structural model because it will only complicate the things no designer model the purlins and no designer model the girds they only calculate calculate the uh, section sizes manually and then apply the unit weight of that section on the portal frames most of the people what they do they simply draw this portal frame and then they simply analyze they don't even do the 3d analysis but why i am forcing you to do the 3d analysis is that we need to check the bracing also here we need to draw the plan bracing also so as a designer i will always recommend you that you should always do 3d analysis of the structure because this type of 2d analysis is only recommended if you are doing hand calculations or they are they were suitable when it was 1980s or it was 1990s when there were no softwares uh, with the engineers but now you have full-fledged advanced software so there is no logic in doing the 2d analysis so i have what i have done here is that i have drawn uh, replicated all the portal arrangements here so now we have two options number one option is that we need to draw all the connecting beams here so following this option only we need we can go to define section properties and frame sections we can left click on add new property select the section shape as channel steel channel left click here either we can define the section here or another option is left click on import new properties left click on channel section here so it will show you the list of available indian standard sections as per the indian standards so we can left click here and uh, we can select ismc 300 here left click on ok option so now ismc 300 is now imported here left click on ok option now we can go to draw draw beam and draw beam column base in plan elevation in 3d view select a type of line as frame property as ismc 300 so we need to join all the portals here Or what we can do here is that we can draw these two frames and we can just simply replicate
So similarly we can draw MC300 here also. So we go to draw, draw beam column base and draw the beam column base pl in plan elevation on 3D view. Similarly we just snap all the joints here and draw the ISMC 300 section. So now we have drawn a full-fledged portal frame 3D structure here. 